Welcome to this educational video series on the basics and fundamentals of green energy, brought to you by EPC Land. I'm Sonia, and with over 20 years of experience in the energy sector, I'm excited to guide you through these important topics. In this series, we are focusing on solid oxide electrolysis cells, or SOECs, and exploring their role in the production of green hydrogen. This is the first video, where we'll introduce SOECs and discuss their key components. Let's start by understanding what SOECs are. Solid oxide electrolysis cells are advanced electrochemical devices that operate at high temperatures, typically between 600 degrees Celsius and 900 degrees Celsius. Unlike other types of electrolyzers, such as PEM or alkaline, SOECs use this high temperature environment to efficiently convert electrical energy into chemical energy, specifically producing hydrogen. Now, let's break down the main components of an SOEC electrolyzer. First, we have the solid oxide electrolyte. This is a ceramic material that plays a crucial role in the process. It conducts oxygen ions from the anode to the cathode. The high temperature environment is essential here, as it enhances the conductivity of the solid oxide material, allowing the electrolysis process to occur effectively. Next, let's look at the cathode. In an SOEC, the cathode is where the oxygen ions are reduced, which means they gain electrons to form oxygen gas. This reaction is vital for the production of hydrogen on the opposite side of the cell. Moving on to the anode, this is where the magic of hydrogen production happens. Water vapor is introduced at the anode, and through oxidation, it's split into hydrogen and oxygen ions. The hydrogen is then collected as a pure gas, while the oxygen ions migrate through the solid oxide electrolyte to the cathode. Another important component is the interconnect. This part connects individual cells within a stack, allowing the system to scale up and produce more hydrogen. It also helps to maintain the structural integrity and ensure that the electrical current flows efficiently between cells. Lastly, there's the sealant. While it might seem less glamorous, the sealant is crucial for the overall operation. It prevents any gas leakage between the different parts of the cell, ensuring that the process remains efficient and safe. SOECs are truly fascinating, combining high temperatures and advanced materials to produce hydrogen in a way that could significantly impact the future of green energy. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into the process details of SOEC electrolyzers, exploring how these components work together to produce hydrogen. This series is part of our commitment at EPC Land to provide clear, informative content on cutting-edge energy technologies. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe to the EPC Land YouTube channel for more videos in this series. We are just getting started on this exciting journey into the world of green energy. See you in the next video.